If you've had a uterine ablation, how do you know where you are in regards to perimenopause or menopause since you aren't having cycles most likely? So there's a couple ways that we could identify this. One, are you having symptoms? Mood swings, irritability, insomnia, vaginal dryness, things like that. So that's often an indication that um, menopause or perimenopause is close. And then also um, lab testing. So we can check your follicular stimulating hormone or luteinizing hormone to see how high your estrogen is and if you're ovulating, how high your progesterone is. So those are different ways that we can kind of gauge. We can also do an AMH, which is an anti-malarian hormone, which um, will show your follicle count. And then um, there's a test called cycle mapping, Dutch cycle mapping test. And so basically you collect dried urine samples for an entire month and the lab will map out your estrogen and proge progesterone production if it's being made. And we get to see if you're ovulating, when those dates are happening, and how high those levels are. So those are ways that we can um, see where you are in regards to perimenopause or menopause if you've had a uterine ablation and don't know where you are.